This phenomenon provides proof that gravity is an electromagnetic wave. This is on the Oregon coast. Look closely at the Saltown water waves, the jets of water squirting out of these wave craft. wave motion and solid time water waves how big it is it's going to dig thousands and thousands of right there. sand pools literally the gravitational forces doppler shifted literally gouge there's a wave that came in and, and shot back out the rust particles out of the sands still going separate from the tidal up speed as it goes out. from the surf motion and they move by themselves and they dig these thousands of sand pools. It's Doppler shifted magno hydrodynamics. That's another solid town water wave. I think that's the same phenomenon. There's one going sideways. It came up to shore, stopped, Those are actually speeding and then returned out to the ocean, out to sea. Way faster. They pass through incoming waves. It's the gradual slope of this beach wouldn't allow a wave to speed up that fast. They pass through incoming waves, stop, and then start up again and continue going. Waves. I don't know, the wave, the motion here is not normal. Wait till you see the sand pits, the sand pools. Not at this time. Here goes a wave speeding up, going back out. It's much better to be there, but I'm quite a ways from the actual surf areas, as you can see. These are small waves, ripples. The effect is real, real apparent. Something's pulling up. Now that wave started to come inwards and it turned sideways. This video isn't very good. You got to be there. This can't be predicted. Uh, it's much better to be here. Just trying to get a good shot of the effect. Okay, here's the gap, the results of formation. I didn't know what I was talking about. Yeah, it's pretty tough. Yeah, not quite as many. There's some pretty good gouges there. Now uh, that looks pretty bad. Yeah, that looks real bad. It literally looks like the That's surface of the same. moon.
the forces have pulled the Doppler shifted. Uh, I'm going to take a radio scan here. I'm measuring the wavelengths of the patterns left on the beach. Some match radio frequencies that you can pick up on a scanner. A lot more work has a lot more work has been done on this phenomenon. This is only a ten minute video. This is a real gravitational phenomenon. That's the end of it. On up just about hundred miles from Portland, Oregon. The, uh, these patterns shown here may look similar, but they are not the often seen patterns formed on sand dunes that form relatively slowly from wind-blown sand. Nor are they like the close together ripples formed in sandy rivers. These patterns are completely different. Instead, something is impeding the water flow. These patterns are much more irregular, spaced further apart, and have a deep groove. Also, radio frequencies accompany them, and sometimes soliton water waves. They also form immediately r right before your eyes and may disappear just as quickly. They also have date and time appearances. They are formed by Doppler shifted then heterodyne gravity waves. On this day the phenomenon was so strong that the dark areas are rust particles standing, trying to stand on end. The event has been correlated to Earth and Moon apogee and perigee dates. Radio frequencies appear and accompany to the phenomenon. You'll have to pause, I have to go quickly. You saw the video of that. I want to be a. It's important I stress there's a fake and a real occurrence of these things. There's a sluice box occurrence that caused by the collision of two water waves. When that's happening, and it can't happen at the very same time, you could be confused by if it's a Doppler effect or it's just a sluice, plain sluice box effect. I tried to predict the thing, it is predictable, and I calculated the gravitational wavelength approximate. Made a mistake by subtracting the the moon from the Earth Doppler frequencies 
or velocities in this. I believe that is a mistake. That point zero zero two two eight angstroms will have to be checked, double checked. 